Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Y series of power system. In this Y series, I explain and justify the reasons behind various mind blowing power system theories. Today, in this series, I am going to explain why transmission is carried out at high voltage. One of the best way to justify the reason of transmission at high voltage is to consider a simple power system and perform all calculations of current, voltage drop, power loss and efficiency first at normal voltage and do the same calculation at high voltage. In the end, compare both results to justify the reason why transmission is carried out at high voltage. Consider a simple power system consisting of a generating station which supplies power to the distribution side through transmission line. Suppose 2200 watt of power is to be transmitted through transmission line to the load. Now we are going to consider two cases. In the first case, we are not going to increase the voltage and trying to supply this power through normal 220 volt. Suppose the transmission line has a resistance of 5 ohms. Now we are going to calculate the current flowing in the transmission line, voltage drop, power loss and efficiency of the transmission line is below. To make the calculation simple, we assume that power factor is unity. We know that current flowing through the transmission line is given by I is equal to P upon V. Putting the values of P and V in the above expression, we get the current flowing in the transmission line. It can be noticed that at 220 volt, current of 10 ampere is flowing in the line. Now we are going to calculate the voltage drop in the transmission line. The voltage drop is given by V is equal to I into R. Putting the values of I and R in the above formula, we get the voltage drop in the line which is 50 volt. It means that 50 volt is lost in the transmission line and 170 volt will be reached at the receiving station. Now we are going to calculate the power loss in the transmission line. The power loss due to heat dissipation is given by P is equal to I square into R. Putting the values of current and resistance in the above formula, it is observed that 500 watt of power is lost in the transmission line. It means that out of 2200 watt, only 1700 watt of power will be reached at the receiving station. Now we are going to calculate the efficiency of this transmission line. The formula for efficiency of the transmission line is given below. Putting the values of output power and input power in the above formula, it is found that efficiency of the transmission system at 220 volt is 77.27%. This efficiency is very low. These are all the results for the first case. Now we are going to consider the case 2 in which all the above calculations will be performed at a high voltage. For simplification, we just increase the voltage by 10 times, means from 220 volt to 2200 volt. Now by putting this voltage magnitude in the current formula, we observe that in this condition only 1 ampere of current is flowing in the transmission line. It means that when the transmission is carried out at high voltage, current in the line is reduced. Now when we put this value of current in the voltage drop formula, it is noticed that at this high voltage, transmission line has a voltage drop of 5 volt only. It means that out of 2200 volt, 2195 volt will be reached at the receiving station. At the receiving station, this voltage can be stepped down to 220 volt by using a step down transformer. Now again by putting the value of current in the power loss formula, it is observed that at this high voltage, transmission line has a power loss of only 5 watt. It means that out of 2200 watt, 2195 watt of power will be reached at the receiving station. Now by putting this output power in the efficiency formula, we observed that the efficiency of the transmission system at high voltage of 2200 volt is 99.77%. It means that at high voltage efficiency of the transmission system is enhanced. Now we are going to compare the results of the both cases in the form of table as below. It can be noticed from the table that when transmission is carried out at normal voltage of 220 volt, it has higher magnitude of current higher voltage drop, 
higher power losses and lowest efficiency. On the other hand, when transmission of power is carried out at high voltage of 2200 volt, the transmission line has smaller amount of current, lower voltage drop, smaller power losses and highest efficiency. Now just imagine the efficiency and power loss of the transmission system when the transmission is carried out at 220 kV or 500 kV or 765 kV voltage. Thus we can conclude that the transmission of electrical power is carried out at high voltage due to following main advantage. Advantage number one, when the transmission is carried out at high voltage, the voltage drop in the transmission system is reduced. Thus higher voltage will be available at the receiving station. Advantage number two, when the transmission is carried out at high voltage, power losses in the transmission systems are reduced significantly. Advantage number three, when the transmission is carried out at high voltage, efficiency of the transmission system is enhanced. Advantage number four, when the transmission is carried out at high voltage, the current in the transmission system is reduced significantly. Therefore, size or volume of the conductor required is also reduced to carry that small amount of current. Advantage number 5, when the transmission is carried out at high voltage, similar size of the conductor is required. Therefore, overall cost of the conductor is also reduced. Thus, high voltage make it economical to transmit large amount of power over longer distance. That's all in today's Y series session. I hope you are now much clear that why transmission is carried out at high voltage. Friends, I upload many videos based on various topics of power system and motivation on regular basis. Therefore, don't forget to subscribe my channel in order not to miss my latest videos. And don't forget to share my videos with your friends and class fellows so that they can also get benefit from these videos. Thank you very much.